travelling thousands of kilometres to the middle of the Pacific Ocean to follow two international teams of scientists as they attempt two experimental eradication projects. So I've just landed here on the island atoll of Tetiaroa. It's made up of 12 small motus, little tiny islands. And this one's the main one, Onatahi. The island is just stunning. The lagoon is beautiful. The reef beyond is pristine. But time to get down to science. My first stop is the uninhabited island of Rayono. It's about 60 kilometers off mainland Tahiti. I've just traveled by boat across the lagoon here in Tetiaroa to the tiny, pristine island of Rayono. This is an island that's home to many seabirds, a bunch of giant crabs, including coconut crabs and hermit crabs. But it's also infested with rats. The rats have been decimating populations of many native species, especially seabirds. So I'm going to be camping here for a few nights with some rat eradication experts. As they prepare to poison every rat on this tiny island atoll. This island's just 800 metres long and a few hundred metres wide, but thousands of rats live here. The goal is to make this island paradise where there's no human settlement at all, a stronghold for the native seabirds that nest here. As part of the eradication project, the team is trying to learn more about the best way to hunt down rats in ecosystems like this. So they've been tagging the rats with tiny radio transmitting collars, releasing them and then using a receiver to track down their burrows. Then it's time to lay more than 800 kilograms of rat poison. Will the eradication work? The second experimental eradication underway here in Tetiaroa, this time back on the main island of Onatahi, is using a new technique to try to wipe out mosquitoes. Mosquitoes here are a vector for all sorts of diseases, including dengue fever and the Zika virus, putting both locals and visitors like me at risk. To eradicate these dangerous insects, the team have sterilised thousands of males using a common strain of bacteria called Wolbachia. Releasing these males every week for over a year has drastically reduced their ability to breed. There's been a 90% reduction in mosquito numbers on this island. A few weeks later, and it's time for a quick catch up with one of the scientists I met back on the uninhabited island of Rayono. So is this island still overrun with rats? Hello, I'm very excited to report to you that we are 99% confident we are rat free. Congratulations, how does that feel? <laughs> Great. These remarkable eradication projects will help protect both native wildlife and the island's human inhabitants. And in surroundings like this, I might see if I can stay on and lend a hand for a while. <laughs> <laughs>